All right, guys, we're going to sort out the ports. Uh, I've already determined that most of this assembly will fit in there, but that don't mean that it'll leave enough room for the port to breathe in the back. So, there's that. So I determined what I needed to do was take my blade and shave this inside right here. Put a bellow on it. And uh, so it'll more easily fit. And I'm doing a 90 degree shave. So a scraper kind of a thing. If you guys think my plastic skills are on point, I understand that I worked for a couple of years at a place where that made plastic products, and so I uh, did this for eight hours a day, this kind of stuff. I kind of already knew what I needed to do before I started. All right, it did require some work to get it to work, but we have an entire port there. So now i got to uh, test fit that and see if that's going to work. I do not, I do not have this taped together right now, so it may fall apart. Inside, I'm just trying to get a, if I can, I'll give a look before it happens, see where it's landed. We can't we have plenty of room, it did just fall apart. Make sure we got plenty of room in here. I think we do. So, preliminary little look. Says we do so. I'm gonna go ahead and put some tape on it and test it again. So this is why we're using uh, packing tape, heavy duty, duck brand. Oh yeah, that's going to work perfectly. All right, now I just got to do the installing part of it. That's plenty of room back there. Oh, here he goes. Climbing in again. Yep. Figured out this is the best way to do this is to lay the seats down. And uh, go into a sitting position rather than on my knees. For me, this works. Kind of weird getting in, but um, I think this is going to how I'm going to put the subs in too, by the way. Y'all are wondering about all that. I'm sure you weren't. Maybe you were. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to make this up as I go. It's all about making it up as we go. I'm pretty sure they sized and uh, recess these holes for drywall screws because that's what everybody uses. Um, so I'm going to go with drywall screws on this port just to make it clean. Trying to get it. Oh, I missed it. Trying to get it centered and uh, straight. This is going to be a chore. You know, already see. Once I get a couple of screws, though, everything will be bumps. It'll be, be uh, berries and flowers and stuff. Uh, I hit a dizzy spell. It's a good time to get a dizzy spell. I need a bottom screw. Or at least a low screw.
get one on either side. If we can, then we know we're centered. That one started. It's about one over here. Yep, we're good. I managed to freehand center that sucker right over there. So, I know you guys don't have 3D vision, so I'm going to try to give you a look. Get back here close so y'all can see. And it's bigger on the bottom than it is on the top. So I think there is plenty of room for that vent to breathe. And uh, very solid. Yeah, I still need to go get that screw. <laughs> screw it in there. But I can do that from out here. It's mainly the positioning and holding of everything that requires me being on the inside. All right, guys. I've been going back and forth on how I'm going to secure these. And, uh, but we're going to give it a poke. All right, so <clears throat> I've been going back and forth trying to figure out how I want to screw these things into this wall because I had a, uh, a 412 half wall in a, uh, Ford pickup, they stopped at the window and behind us, it was a cab and a half and it stopped right at the base of the window and it was loud as crap, by the way. Anyway, that sucker, the screws kept breaking on me. Uh, breaking, the screws were snapping in two and the subs were just, yeah, it was a battle. So I've been debating on how I want to attach these. What I ended up using on that half wall was these green dudes that I got right here at the end. And I didn't snap any of these. Uh, I've still got some of those. That's why I got those. But I've also got these guys. And uh, they're a little longer. They're a Power Pro Premium Exterior Wood Screw. Uh, both of these are 225. Because of course they are. So, I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll uh, alternate between them. Kind of hedge my bet, you know? But the first part, of course, is actually getting the dang thing in the hole. So, I think I'm going to go with the known quantity to start with, which would be the green ones that were the only ones that didn't break. Before. Hopefully everything works out here. This is going to be fun. That's all I can tell you. I've been, put, been dreading this. Because these... Death Bonds Apocalypse subs are heavy. All subs are heavy. There's a lot of subs that are much bigger than these and heavier than these. But uh, I'm not in the best condition. So, And the awkward way you have to put them in sucks. The way the weight is, you know. The bottom will kick out. So, and we got these bad boys wired up to be a one-on load in the end. I know y'all ain't gonna have much of a view, but I'm gonna struggle just to do this. So I apologize for the view. Oh, me now. Should have left that wire. But we were working with recycle, like everything else. Sometimes that uh, adds to the problems. That's in there. <laughs> I figure these are going to be the easiest ones. Because of the position. 
on the bottom, which are going to be the hardest ones. Okay, that's not terrible. That may be all right. The bottom ones are going to be trickier because I won't be able to do them from in here. Let's see if we make sure everything is playing up in here right. That's not pulled up tight yet. Got to test tickle everything. Feels good so far. <clears throat> Grab it, pull it up, just like the post too. Mm -hmm. That one did too. That one did too. But it's kind of crooked. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Now we just need to feel, finish off the field. So should I use the long ones? I think we should. Like I said, I want to hedge my bets. Question is, are these stronger than the other ones? Not that one. That's not the right side. These are all designed to, for the same basic principles. They're probably made out of the same metal. And these go through. They don't pull out. They didn't, the, the screws I had before on the other setup didn't pull out. They just uh, broke. Snap. Snapped right freaking into Oh, yeah, baby. Well, that's one down. Now, now the trawl over here, I don't know. I might be able to sneak in there and get a screw. Uh, I know that I can do this. I don't know about this. So why don't I try this one next? I've already got my wife pre-approved for assistance, by the way. I told her, I said, I might need your help. <laughs> I don't know yet. I'm going to try to not need your help, but I might. I don't know. That's heavy, man. And I've got to get a screw on the bottom to start with, or it just ain't going to, it ain't going to jive. That top situation don't work. But it doesn't really kick out very much because the magnet and everything's so big and everything's so tight, kind of just sits up in there. I guess probably one of the bigger problems is the fact that my wire is short. I had a long, plenty of long enough wire, uh, but it's considering that you have to fight with such a large, you know, pain in the butt, it makes the wire seem too short. It's long enough to reach, no problem. Even with, you know, some extra. <sighs> Son. Come on around here. These things are big and heavy enough that if they fell on you, they could hurt you. Mm 
Where's the hole? That's not it. There we go. That was all word for nothing. It's a struggle to go in. There you go, guys. This is the beast I'm putting in there. I threw my, my DeWalt 20-volt uh, drill in there just so you'd have an idea of how big this massive thing is. All right. Got to recharge. For that, we require Diet Coke. Oh. There's ain't no easy way of getting in and out of this. It's a mess. You guys ever had a fat girlfriend? I had several as a teenager. I don't know why, but for some reason, the heavy girls was always uh, kind of grown to me. Maybe I was grown to them. I don't know. I ain't really sure how that worked out. But uh, I had several. Several big girls growing up there. But keeping uh keeping this uh PG rated because you know YouTube and whatnot. Forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah. So anyway, keeping it PG rated. I'm going to tell you, I had a lot of fun with the fat girl. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not insulting. I don't mean that as a derogatory. When I say fat girl, it's just real. You know, I ain't trying to insult nobody. I ain't talking bad about nobody. It's just some girl was fat. It's just a fact of life. I mean, it's like, you got your blonde girls and got your brunettes and you got your skinny girls and you got your cheerleaders and you got a, you know, and then you got your fat girl. It is what it is. Uh, well, what I was going to say was, let's I'll stay right there. They may not be as pretty to look at, you know, figure ain't as good and all that. They don't look like the model in the magazines. All of those things. <clears throat> I think my bits need to more to switch up. But I have that old crappy bit. But I want to go find the star bit. Thank you. Yeah, that sucker's giving up, man. My bitch better give up. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, you got the thing on. You know, went through all the trouble of getting it right where you want it. Got it all in position, right? Everything's lined up. And uh, things are going just right. And uh, and then the tip of your drill breaks off. You're looking at it like you got one job, you know. You got one part in this. I done everything else. I got us here. I got everything lined up. All in position. You had one job. And you failed. So now you're going to be replaced with this. See what you made me do? Well, think about that in the corner. All right, we're back.
Ooh, in all fairness, these bits ain't rated for a torque driver. But, uh, Get us another one in there, and then we get a little more torquey with it. <laughs> How many more of these bits I got laying around? I think I probably got another one or two here anyway. I'm going to leave them screws for outside. I'm going to do that this time. <laughs> Get enough in there, and then we'll finish it up. The lean in method. I want to get this part out of the way. Got a good seal. The last of the Mohicans. So yeah, to all you young folks out there, you know, in the mid twenties or high twenties and down, if you want to have fun, get you a fat girl. I ain't joking. You'll you'll uh, you'll experience a lot of fun. They always are very fun. Never and loyal. Very, very fun and very, very loyal. So get up in here. Got one job, boy. Come on. You know how to do this. You've done it before. Had this one, uh, this one fat girl picked me up at a bar. The only bar in the in the world that's so close to where I live at. Yeah. Country bar, redneck, you know, uh, honky tonk. She's from out of out of town. She went from out of state. She's from out of town. <laughs> she came over and asked me if I wanted to dance. Well, at first, I don't know. You're a fat girl. I ain't sure I'm gonna do this. But then I said, "Well, you know what? I've had a few drinks. I believe we can we can have some fun, you know." So we're dancing and carrying on. Finally, she's like, "You ready to get out of here?" I was like, "Yeah, let's go. Let's go." Mind you, I was like way too young to be in this car. <laughs> Again, it was a redneck jeep joint, so you know you'd get away with a lot of those places. I was probably uh eighteen, nineteen, something like that. She was a little bit older than me. And uh she had a Mercedes. And she had two friends with her. And uh, they were all fluffy. It was a thing, you know. So we and her two friends all jumped in her Mercedes and left the bar. And uh, we're all riding, drinking, Doing all the stuff. I remember we was headed to a 
planted in Arkansas for some reason. I don't remember why, but that's what it was doing. And uh, there's a railroad track between Brinkley, Arkansas, and Clarendon, Arkansas. There's a spot where you cross a railroad track on the highway. And that track don't have any arms that come down. It's just got lights. And it's just a straight highway leading up to a straight railroad track. Got to tighten this one. Um, that told me pretty good. So we were clipping along doing about, not about, about 70, 75, and, and directly she could see the train coming from down the tracks. We're all saying, here's a train. And that crazy girl, she just put her foot to the floor. I was like, all right, we're going for a ride. <laughs> Guys, I've done a lot of crazy things in my life. That was the scariest I've ever been. We was hauling balls. By the time we got to where that train track was, we was doing every bit of 110, 120. We was cooking. And the train come, and we was coming, and we was meeting in the middle. And when that train, when we crossed those tracks, the headlight of that train was above the car. It went dark. I saw that light coming as we were crossing, and right as we crossed them tracks, as we were hitting the tracks, the light disappeared. So it was up over the top of the car. That's how close that was. And I reckon I probably peed on myself. I don't know. I don't remember Oh, that's got a good sound, guys. Yeah, baby. The thump test is a pass. It's going to sound great. I got to put a few more screws in the bottom here. But it's loaded. Y'all can stop whining about me putting the subwoofers in here. <laughs> All right, man. We have subwoofers in. Poured in. Subwoofers are hooked up. I added some more expanded foam down there in the bottom joints after I got done running my wires. Uh, I can still pull out and, and run down there if I need to. I got to finish cleaning that up, but but yeah, we'd be jamming. And uh, I still might need to go around and put a few field screws to tighten that up. I wanted to wait till I got the subwoofers mounted before I did that. There's no need in doing extra screws if the subwoofers and the and the, the porter are all going to hold everything together. But I'll probably go around with some pan heads and and uh, secure that, make that look good. But for now, that's what we got going on, baby. Now the port is white right now again. Uh, it's easier to turn it from white to black than it is to turn it from black to white. So we're going to leave it be white for now until I decide what I'm going to do on the color wise. There you go.